Hello, best film fans. It's Natalia here from the channel Cookilicious NZ. I love best films and all the characters. So today, I'm going to show you how to make this adorable Quincy Junior cookies. So let's get started. These are the things you're going to need for this project. Sugar cookies. I use a printed picture of Quincy Junior to create a paper template. Then I use the template to cut my cookie dough with an exacto knife. And I also made a few additional paper templates to mark the areas that I'm going to decorate later. This will come in really handy. I will be using edible markers to mark my cookies. These markers are completely food safe and they're designed specifically to work for this kind of projects when you're working with food items such as cookies and cakes. I will also be using a scribe tool, which is a needle tool to smooth out and shape my icing while decorating the cookies. And these are my strawberry flavored royal icing that I have prepared earlier and colored with gel food coloring. Okay, so I'm gonna start off by tracing the outline of Quincy Jr. on my cookie with an edible marker. And if you're looking for the recipes and all the tools that you'll need for this project, they'll be posted in the description box below. Take a light yellow icing in medium consistency and fill the face area. If you want to know more about my medium consistency icing, please check the description box below as I'll be putting a link to a consistency video that you might find helpful. So continue to fill the face area until it's covered with icing. And then you can use the scribe tool to smooth out the icing. We're going to let this dry for a few hours and if you have a food dehydrator, you can speed up the drying process by leaving it in there for approximately 30 minutes. When the icing for the face area is dry, Take a yellow icing and fill the body area. Also use a medium consistency icing for this section. And once you're done filling the section, we're going to do what's called the wet on wet technique. Take a brown royal icing and pipe the stripes in Quincy's body. And this is done while the yellow icing is still wet. Use the scribe tool to shape the icing and because the icing is still wet, you can drag the brown icing to create a pointy edge on Quincy's stripe. Once you've done the stripes, then you'll have to let the icing dry again for a few hours. After the icing is dry, let's continue with the mouth. Use the paper template that we prepared earlier and use an edible marker to draw the line for the mouth as guidelines. Then use brown outline consistency icing and cover the line with the icing. Take the same light yellow icing that we used earlier for the face and pipe just above the brown outline of the mouth. It's thicker on one side and use a scribe tool to drag the icing along to the other side. After the icing is dry, we can now move on to my Quincy's big eye. For this, I will use one of the paper templates that we have prepared earlier. Mark the eye area with an edible marker, then fill it with white medium consistency icing. Now we are going to do another wet on wet technique and what you want to do is pipe a black icing onto the white icing while it's still wet. Use a scribe tool to smooth out the icing if needed and then add a tiny bit of white dot of icing. And all this icing I'm using for the wet on wet technique are in medium consistencies. And while that is drying, we can continue to add his cute big tooth by piping white medium consistency icing. Then use a black outline consistency icing to pipe the legs. Mm. 
Use the scribe tool if you need to shape the icing. And don't forget the little hair sticking up on top of his head. So there you have it. Isn't he adorable? Thank you so much for watching and I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you like it, please leave a thumbs up and subscribe for more fun videos like this. Also, be sure to let us know in the comments below who is your favorite Best Fiends character. And if you like to see a tutorial on how to make your favorite characters into cookies, please be sure to let us know in the comment section as well. If you want to check out more of my cookie tutorials, then head over to my channel at CookieliciousNZ. Thank you so much again for watching my sweet friends, keep defeating the slugs and see you next time!